We are exactly one week away from the 10 year anniversary of the 35W bridge collapse. The catastrophe plunged dozens of cars into the Mississippi River, killing 13 people and injuring nearly 150 others. Tonight, Care Levin's Carla Holt and Lou Raguse share what they remember about that evening and what we're working on to remember the victims. So I think most of us can remember where we were when we heard that the bridge had collapsed. And for me, I recall receiving a phone call from one of our colleagues who told me, Carla, what's happening? I understand the bridge collapsed and I immediately called the station and asked them, where do you need me to go? So they sent me downtown. I remember running toward the bridge as everyone was running away from it. What I think was overwhelming in that moment was the pure intensity of the activity around us as well as the emotion because there was this fear that you felt as people were trying to understand what happened, is it still happening? And then already the grief was beginning because you knew people were on that bridge. No one obviously was more affected than the victims, their families, and the survivors involved. So we're trying to touch base with as many of them as we can and let them tell their story in their words, taking us back to that day. It's, it's just incredibly, emotional for them to tell the story, mm -hmm. uh, for us to listen to the story, but you forget. I mean, you, you know that people died. Mm -hmm. You know that some people had these catastrophic injuries, but for example, that some people were in their car as it nosedived into the water, mm -hmm. filled with water. They made it to the bottom of the river and they somehow still escaped. And one woman, uh, Mercedes Gordon, was someone who didn't think she was going to get off that bridge on that day. She placed a call to her then fiance to say what she thought was goodbye. And it's a happy update that we'll be able to share that today she ended up marrying the man who she thought she was saying goodbye to on that day. And today they have a daughter who has the middle name of the firefighter who saved her mother's life. And it's those stories it's touching. that we're excited to share. Yeah. And uh, one of the most iconic images from the bridge collapse is that school bus mm -hmm. uh, kind of leaned up, pinned against the side of the bridge with a semi truck right next to it starting on fire. Mm -hmm. And everyone so worried for those kids, 60 kids aboard that bus. Mm -hmm. So we got the story straight from the bus driver. She's mm -hmm. a mom. She had her own two children on the bus as well as the 60 kids she was taking care of. And just listening to her tell the story of how she held onto that wheel put her foot on the brake and just did everything she could to stop anything worse from happening to everyone on that bus. I mean, the, the, the stories, they, they're, they're very intense, but they're uplifting as well. And you can hear those stories next Tuesday on the 10 year anniversary of the bridge collapse. And in the week to come, look for a special section on care11.com dedicated to the anniversary. Victims, in their own words, will share where they were when the bridge came down, where they are now, and how it changed their lives forever.